What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack. Once again, it was brought to my attention in a one-on-one -on -one call that we needed to do a guide on how to get Binance Smart Chain payout from Crazy Pool. Now we've covered Ethermine and the Polygon payouts. We've covered two miners and the Bitcoin payouts, but we haven't covered this one in particular. There's a couple little steps that I figured it would be easier if I just showed you through a video than walking everybody through one by one. Now, if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting, we are doing those on Locals for supporters. You can become a member for free at sonofatech.locals.com and we are almost 50% to our goal of 800 members. And if you would like to have one-on-one -on -one meetings, that is a supporter option and that is $5 a month and it goes directly to me. So it's much better than supporting on YouTube where they take a pretty, pretty hefty cut. So Locals takes much less of a cut and that's why I prefer it. Let's go ahead and get into this though on the test bench. I do have it pulled up and we're not going to go over the MetaMask install. You can check out the guide on Ethereum if you would like to know how to install MetaMask and the safety protocols and privacy and all that. Today, I'm going to assume you have MetaMask set up. So we are really only going to be working on connecting the Binance Smart Chain. And the reason for that is because it will be a wrapped version of Ethereum on the Binance Smart Chain. It will not be on the Ethereum mainnet. So today, to do that, you're going to want to go ahead and head on over to your MetaMask wallet in the plugins tab, click your little account picture and go down to settings. Under settings, you're going to look for the networks option and then you're going to click add network. Once this is loaded in, you can get all the information from this blog post, which I have pulled up for you. And basically all we really need to do is copy one of these RPC URL links. So we're just going to go ahead and right click and say copy. And then we're going to go over and put it in all the information. So I'm just going to call this BSC for short. And then we're going to put in the RPC URL, the chain ID, is going to be 56 and it does say it has a different chain id it says the rpc has returned a different chain id 56 please update the chain id to match the rpc url so let's go ahead and double check this it does say we can do the o x 38 so we'll try this one here real quick and make sure we are connecting to the correct one that does seem to work there for the currency symbol we're going to do bnb or bnb or bsc Let's take a look. It's supposed to be BNB and the Block Explorer Binance Scan. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that link address. Go back over here and pop that into the Block Explorer and change this currency symbol to back to BNB. It says here that the ticker symbol verification data is currently unavailable. Make sure that the symbol you have entered is correct. So I believe that is correct. We're gonna go ahead and click the save button and then we'll have our BNB listed here. We did get the correct logo. So the address will be the same on both chains. So you could copy either address as you see fit, but you wanna make sure that it, it, you have this connected so you can see the token when the assets are entered into your wallet. Another note about this that can make it a little bit difficult is that if if you get wrapped Ethereum into this wallet, there's no way to convert it to real Ethereum or to another token unless you have a little bit of BNB in your wallet. So you'll want to get your BNB address and send some BNB from another exchange if your intention is to utilize MetaMask and participate within the Binance Smart Chain. So once you have that set up though, all you need to do now is head on over to your Crazy Pool. So on Crazy Pool, you'll go to the dashboard and enter your wallet address and go into your dashboard. And then from here, you will go ahead and hit the settings tab and scroll down. And there's just an option here to change the network to the Binance Smart Chain. It does look like they have added Polygon as well now, which is nice. So at this point, your payment threshold is can be lowered down to 0 0.001 which should allow most people to get daily payouts at this point, and we're very close to. Now, then at this point, you don't really need a gas price limit, and you just need to add in your public IP address to save the settings. To obtain this information, you can just go to whatismyip.org, and it will provide you with your public IP address. Alternatively, if you are on your Hive OS, you can actually get that directly through Hive OS. So let me show you where you get it on Hive now. So if we go to our Hive page, you can just click the rig with the most hash rate if you're in a remote location or you have rigs that are basically in different IP locations, you want the one with the most hash rate and you just come down to your remote IP address and click the copy button. 
going back to the test bench though, so we can continue this process. At that point, you will just go down to your, this box right here and do a control V option to paste in your public IP address and click save settings. So now you can see that the settings have been saved and we can basically get our payouts to the MetaMask wallet on the Binance Smart Chain. Now this is not my preferred method for obtaining the payouts. I actually utilize a centralized exchange, Crypto.com. And so I'm just going to show you guys where in Crypto.com you can get this address. And the reason for that is because with the Binance Smart Chain in MetaMask, what you're going to have to do is convert it to BNB, which means you're going to need to get some BNB and always have a little bit in there and be able to convert it and then send the BNB out to go ahead and cash it out, which can be a little cumbersome. If you wanted to shift it to actual ETH, then you're gonna to have to go use the Binance Smart Chain bridge and you'll pay extra fees to bridge it out to traditional Ethereum or Ethereum mainnet. All of this can be very taxing. If you want to get actual ETH, it's, it's actually better to send it to crypto.com and then send it back out to an Ethereum wallet and it would be cheaper that way. So let's go ahead and get into that now. Okay, so first things first, you're just gonna to want to open your crypto.com app and get logged in. Once you're logged in, you're gonna to go to your accounts. You will find your Ethereum address. You will click the transfer button, the deposit button and then click the BSC symbol up here and copy that wallet address. And that is the wallet address you would use in your miner. And then obviously within crazy pool to make the settings changes. So that's in crypto.com. So the reason once again for utilizing the crypto.com method is that you aren't going to have to pay those fees to bridge it out of Binance smart chain to convert it into basically mainnet Ethereum unwrapped Ethereum. You won't have to pay those fees to unwrap it via a bridge. So that pretty much covers it. This is how you can basically get Binance Smart Chain payouts from Crazy Pool. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell down below. And I will see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead and check out more videos here, or of course, subscribe. For additional content that also goes into more opinionated pieces surrounding the politics around crypto, make sure you check out sonofatech.locals.com. There you can become a member for free or even choose to support for basically additional content at $5 a month. It's helping me stay alive through the crypto winter.